Hello, thank you for joining me. In this vlog I am painting Trillium. It is a wild flower that I took photos of on the coast at a place called Cape Perpetua, but there are many varieties of Trillium that grow all over the world. Uh, there are 49 varieties and 39 of them grow in different parts of the U.S. I'm painting this with watercolor and using some ink and watercolor marker. Trillium is also known as wake robin, birth root because of its medicinal properties, and toad shade. Many species of trillium are protected because they are endangered because picking a trillium can kill it off. Red trillium is a threatened variety and so it is illegal to pick red trillium in several states such as New York. Purple trillium, painted trillium, sweet little Betsy, and nodding trillium are just a few varieties of this lily family plant which is perennial and grows wild unless cultivated and planted by gardeners in their gardens, which is a good thing to do if you have woodland shade because it will help them not be endangered or threatened. This flower has three petals and three sepals, the small little green leaves under the blossom, and then it has six stamens with three stigmas, which are whitish and worm-like that come out of the center. And the plant has three leaves that are somewhat heart-shaped and is the reason for legend and lore about this plant, not to mention that it has a seven-year cycle of picked. So it's sort of a fairy story within itself. Some people here, they will have bad luck for seven years if they pick a trillium. And the monks who recorded plants back in the old days, in the medieval times, uh, they thought it had to do with the Holy Trinity because of the three leaves and the three petals. The truth about their seven years is the growth that it takes from seed to rhizome for the flower to blossom. And uh, it grows up on a, on a short stalk with the three leaves long before the blossom appears. But once it does, these plants can live up to 25 years, which is longer than average for wildflowers. These are also rare flowers because they are forest variety flowers often, but they require some sunlight each day, uh, typically in the morning, to warm them up and get them to blossom. And another fun fact about these plants is that red trillium is pollinated by beetles and flies. It has no nectar for bees, but it has an odor that attracts flies, and so the flies and the beetles pollinate the red trillium. a fruit that is propagated by the seeds of its flower being spread by woodland insects and rodents. If you plant trillium in your garden, don't cut it back, let it die back on its own because it will naturalize if it dies back on its own, but if you cut it back, you might actually kill it. If you'd like to see images of trillium varieties, the many different varieties growing in the wild, I'll put a link in the description box below to a board with all the U.S. varieties put out by the National Park Service and also a link to the Native Plant Herald where I learned a lot of these facts about Trillium while I was painting it. Now I did go on a hike and I will put a link below to the hike that I went on for Earth Day to the 600 year old Sitka Spruce and Trillium was all along the trail and it was really beautiful so I'll put a link to that if you are interested in going and seeing the wildflower yourself. A few other places you can see this wildflower in Oregon, I believe is Forest Park in Portland, Oregon, uh, the Arboretum in Corvallis, Oregon, and Tryon State Park in Lake Oswego.
Botanical because I wanted to after I took the hike, but also for a challenge called Bring Spring that you can find on Instagram at hashtag Bring Spring Challenge. I was planning to vlog this only by phone because I'm testing out apps, but I was having difficulty with these apps and with the agreements in them. I'm sorry I keep laughing when I say that, but they can delete all your comments. They, there are all these different things you have to agree to, and I didn't want to do that, so I just filmed it the, the normal way, but I will also put a link below to the either post where I talk about the apps or a video, a vlog if I get it up that's all based on phone blogging apps. Which is a good time to remind you to hit subscribe and if you hit the little bell you'll get all the notifications of upcoming vlogs and videos. As always, thank you for watching.